I was first diagnosed in 1997. I went to a doctor and he, I said I thought I had Parkinson's because of the way my arms were reacting. Well, Parkinson's is a common progressive condition and it affects the amount of dopamine that's produced in the brain. And you need dopamine in order to initiate start movements automatically. One of the things that, that dancing does for people in general is um, to give them the confidence. And, and getting on the floor and dancing gives you a certain amount of confidence. One way of trying to encourage people to be active was to find something that was pleasurable um, and uh, dancing was one of those things. And the more we looked into it, the more appropriate it became. So the music when you, which you have when you're dancing can act as a cue. So although you've got a reduced dopamine, which is the bit that triggers and helps you to move, um, if that is reduced, then, you're, well, then we're looking for cues to help people to start to move. And it will encourage people to take larger steps, encourage them to turn better, we think. They're the sort of things that we're looking at and exploring in the research study. Ivor came in before the dance sessions and we did exactly the same measures, um, which we would call baseline. And then Ivor's done 10 weeks of dancing twice a week um, and then I've done exactly the same measures. So we've tried to be as consistent as we can and then I'll look at whether there's any differences. So particularly I'm looking at whether there's differences in the way Ivor moves his eyes or whether there's differences in the amount of rotation that each segment undergoes before his foot moves. So a level of rotation. Um, and I'm also looking at the way um, Ivor's balance and the ground reaction force behaves based on the way the segments turn as well. Yeah, I'm a lot more confident in my movement now, I'm particularly on my feet. I'm, I find it easier to, to manoeuvre um, in, in tighter spaces, as it were, you know. Um, yes, I've, I feel it's, it's been a benefit in that respect. I feel a lot more confident in my steps. It's made me think, stop and think a lot more about moving forward, especially when I get into this freeze, freezing stage. And, um, it's helped in that respect. There's a couple of people in, in the class that, that have got quite severe symptoms and they are now actually managing to achieve all the, all the work that we've, we've done, you know. So it's a, it's a great developer of, of confidence, balance, you know, the, the, the sheer um, muscle memory and so on. That makes a lot of difference to, to people. A lot of the dance um, that people have been doing mimic some of the issues that physiotherapists will be treating. So the way physiotherapists treat is that they will encourage people to put their heel down first, to take bigger steps, to turn round in a correct way. And they are the things that we've picked up in the dance and that's the reason why we've gone in that direction.